Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanna Renee Graham. Welcome if this is your first time here. Um, this is the look I came up with. It's like a summertime. That's my cat sneezing. Kind of spring look. Um, it was quick, it was easy. Um, if you want to see how I created this look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that post notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload. And let's get into it. Okay, I know I look crazy, but today we're going to start off bare face. And I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Primer, and I'm only using like this much. And I'm just rubbing that in. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline 355 and 360. Okay, so now I know I look really crazy, but um, whenever you're going out, you have an event, you really want your base to look bomb. So that's what we're gonna do here. Our base is going to like, people should be like, oh my God, how much water do you drink or some shit like that. So what I do is I just put pretty much that much of 360 and like a little bit of 355 and I just buff this okay so now that we have all of our foundation on and this foundation is pretty full coverage, so I look completely flat now. Like, no hyperpigmentation, no nothing. So now what you wanna decide is basically what type of concealer are you looking for? Are you looking for something more hydrating? Are you looking for something more like full, full, full coverage? And I would either go between the Tarte Shape Tape or the Morphe one. The Morphe is more on the affordable side the only thing is that you can't um you have to be sure to blend one eye out at a time Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my foundation brush and just kind of go over like the harsh edges where that concealer is so that everything is seamlessly blended. I'm not adding any product, I'm just going over it. You know, you just don't want to have a, um, a line of demarcation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup. I'm not going to um, bake with it. I'm just going to literally take my sponge, dip it in, and just tap off the excess. Okay, so now that I'm done setting my concealer, what I'm going to do is take my Maybelline 3... Oh my God. It's my dog. Stop messing with my light. That was petty. I'm, I'm mad I act like that shit was heavy. I'm like, you know, play that shit back in slow-mo. Oh my God. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my Maybelline 360 powder and I'm pretty much going to set everywhere that that concealer isn't in because I really want the rest of my face to be matte. I don't want it to be tacky. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. I'm just going to fast forward through this clip. So I literally just sat here for like an hour. I didn't know what I was going to do. Basically, um, I'm, we're going to be using the Zulu palette today and we're going to go in with that yellow shade first. And we're just going to... Okay, so we're gonna take a detailed pointy brush. We're gonna go back in with that orange set shade and kind of put that back in there in the crease. Okay, so we're gonna take the um LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fine. And we're going to do a halo eye. Okay, so then we're gonna take this pink shade and we're going to pop it on the center. Go back in with that purple shade and blend out the corners. Okay, so now we are back and we are going to finish the rest of the face. Since this look is like so vibrant, I don't want to use like a matte bronzer. Normally I would use either one of these. They kind of look the same. The only difference is the Fenty is matte and this has a little bit of shimmer. So we're going to go in with the one that has a little bit of shimmer. But before we do that, what I want to do is extra set underneath my eye. I mean, I pretty much just dusted any powder, any fallout. Um, the palette, sorry for the noise, but the palette that I was using didn't really have um, a lot of fallout, so I didn't have to put powder on my face. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to be using is Makeup Revolution, the Blotting in Banana Deep. And I'm just going to press this powder into places where I press, um, where I place the concealer. Okay, so for bronzer, we're going to be using the CoverGirl Queen Collection.
And then I noticed like that I get little front um, smile lines right here. So I'm gonna leave some powder to sit right there real quick. Um, then I'm going to take this um, pressed powder by Black Radiance in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to use that a little bit to contour. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, so for under eye, what I want to do is I'm going to go in with a black liner. Okay, so now we're back. I popped on some lashes. Okay, so yeah. And I also popped on this Glitterly Obsessed, the Avenue of Stars. I popped that on on my lids. So we're just going to hop into blush. So for blush, I think I'm going to try the... Hmm, I think I'm going to do the... The Saharan palette only because this I've pretty much been using all Juvia's Place products. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the shade Toby. I'm gonna use that one shade. Okay, for lip, we're gonna go in with this crayon case and the shade Raven. So then I'm going to take the shade Club Hopper. What I want to do is take this um, little super shock shadow and place it, um, pat it into my lips. I think I'm going to use this aqua shade and just put it on the inside of my eye. Okay guys, so that's it for today's look. Um, my camera died. That's why you guys didn't get the highlighting footage. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye. Put a little bit of this. I can't believe that shit just happened. Like, damn. You think I ain't gonna use it? I'm about to scoop this shit right back up and put it in the pan. Okay, so take two. I have been loving my Juvia's Place collection. Like, I've had these palettes forever, but I just started getting into color.